Hello, I'm Daniel Schroeder, and I'm going to show you how to change out the laptop screen on a Lenovo ThinkPad W530. Um, so the first thing you want to do when you're working on any laptop is take the battery out, just to make sure there's no power. So on the bottom, there's a little tab here, just slide that over, and the battery slides out. Put that to the side. And to replace the screen, uh, we don't have to get into the main body of the laptop at all. We'll, everything we do will be working up on the top part where the screen is. Um, and if you're not sure if you have the W530 model or not, I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, but right here is where it'll, it'll say W530. Um, so for this model, uh, down on the bottom there are three little stickers covering up three screws that we first need to take off. So um, if you have like a pair of uh, tweezers. Here I'm just using a little flathead screwdriver just to get under the sticker. Just slide it over a little bit and just pop it out. And there's, there's one. Here's the other one. Put them there so we don't lose them. And one more on the side. Uh, so once we've got those off, the only other tools we're going to need is just a little Phillips screwdriver and preferably magnetized so the screws stick to it and then just like a little piece of plastic uh, that we'll use to pry off the uh, screen casing. Even something like a butter knife would work as well. But uh, so here, just gonna... and so you might just want to get a little glass or something just to put the screws and things in to make sure they don't uh, roll off the table you don't, so you don't lose them. Uh, so on the side you can't really see if there's a bit of a beveled edge but you just want to, I have this little piece of plastic I'm going to use, um, but like I said you could use a butter knife or something as well to just sort of get it in there and just start going up along the sides and there's a bunch of little clips that should all just pop out as you go. Go all the way around. And the bottom's always seems to be a little tighter, a little trickier. So now the next thing that we want to do is there's four screws that we'll want to take out. So two on the bottom corners and two up on the top corners. Right, so those four screws removed, uh, there's this little sort of metal frame piece. Uh, so you can see that it's just basically two arms that the screen is attached to and those can bend up now. And so uh, there's two metal arms here like I said and it's just held on by four screws, um, two on each side. arms you can just sort of pull to the side and the screen you just want to it is still attached on the back uh, so we, you can lift it up and out but not too far and just set it down on the keyboard and so here is where uh, the cable actually connects and so to pop that out um, just get another little flat screwdriver or your butter knife or whatnot um, and just sort of you want to get under this silver it's tape is what it is so uh, it is sticky. Um, I had already taken this off to see which model number I needed to order. And so it's not, it's not stuck on as well as it was the first time I did this. Um, so just make sure the, the gray part isn't sticking at all. And then the black part is off. There's also maybe a piece of tape up here on the front as well. So you just pull that back. There. So once all the tape's not stuck, I just slid that down to disconnect the connectors. Uh, so all the pins came out. 
And so here is the old laptop screen. Uh, so when you're looking at which screen you want to order, be sure you check out what model number you have of your existing screen, because apparently there's a few different uh, laptop screens for the W530 uh, Lenovo ThinkPad, and you want to make sure you order the one, uh, the same model number that you had before, so that uh, you know the new one's going to work properly. So I'm just putting the old one aside and taking our new one. Uh, so basically we're just going to put it back together in the exact reverse order that we took it apart. Uh, so the first thing we have to do is uh, slide this connector pin back in. And there's not a whole lot of uh, cord. Maybe I'll just undo this a bit and that gives me a little bit more working room. There we go. So you should be able to feel the pins slide in. Just make sure they're pressed all the way in and then you can put the tape back down. And the tape just holds it to make sure it doesn't come loose. There we go. Okay, there we go. So now we can just put our new screen uh, back into these two metal bars. There we go. And I've left the protective film on for now, just until I have it all screwed back in place. Now that we have the screen attached to the metal bars again, we can go ahead and set it down flush. And we need to put the four corner screws back in that hold these the metal arms in place. And so now that we have everything sort of, the new screen is in, everything's secure, we don't have the frame and everything put back on. Uh, but if you like, now would probably be a good time just to uh, put the battery back in and just try the laptop, try turning it on, see if the screen works before you put the whole thing back together. In case maybe the pins aren't connected quite right or uh, maybe you ended up getting the wrong model of screen. Um, we can try turning it on before we go through the trouble of putting everything back together. Yeah, this screen looks perfect. Everything looks to be working. So let's go ahead and turn this off. And, uh, just to be safe, again, uh, whenever we're working in there, I'm just going to take the battery out one more time. Okay, and now that we know the screen is working, everything looks good, uh, before we put the casing back on, I'm going to take off the protective film. So put the screen all the way back down again, and let's see if we can get the casing back on. Uh, so just sort of line it up, you can see uh, the hooks need to go through the holes, and then you can just start pressing down to snap it all back together, and just go along all the edges, all the seams, press down, and everything should just snap back in place. So just make sure you go around all the sides and that all the clips really are in place because sometimes some stay loose. Um, on the bottom you might find these corners are a little loose, but that's okay because that's where the screws go in. Uh, so there's, they don't have clips right there. But now all that's left to do is put 
those three screws back in and then stick their uh, those cover stickers back on top of them. And on these squares, it can sometimes be hard to tell, but uh, if you look at them, you should be able to see which side had the, the stickiness on the bottom. Uh, so just try and put the sticky side down uh, so that they stick to the, the screw heads and don't pop out. Uh, but yeah, that's basically all there is to replacing the laptop screen on a Lenovo ThinkPad W530. I hope you found this informative and uh, that it helps you out.